One of our family favorites is the combination of chocolate and hazelnuts. So why not put it together and make a cupcake out of it? We've got a double chocolate cake topped with a chocolate hazelnut frosting. Oh, I can't help it. These cupcakes look so good. So let's get started on how to make them. We're gonna start with the wet ingredients, which is your heavy cream, your oil, and your eggs. You just wanna mix them enough to get the eggs broken up. And then in a separate bowl, you've got all of your dry ingredients, your gluten-free flour blend, your unsweetened powdered cocoa, your sugar, baking soda, and salt. Mix those together and then gradually add them to the wet ingredients on a low speed with your mixer so you don't end up with a big cloud of flour blowing everywhere. And then once it all gets combined, turn the speed up just a little bit to get it mixed real well. And now to up the chocolatey goodness of these cupcakes a little bit more, we're gonna add in the mini chocolate chips. Just stir them in by hand until they're well combined. And then scoop the batter into your lined cupcake tins. You only wanna fill it about two thirds of the way. Pop them in the oven and keep a real close eye on them in the last couple of minutes so that they don't over bake. Otherwise they could end up crumbly and dry and we definitely don't want that. So this step is optional, but while your cupcakes are still warm, I like to drizzle on a little bit of hazelnut liqueur core to punch up the flavor and also add a little moisture. For the frosting, start with your chocolate hazelnut spread and your butter. Combine those really well first and then gradually add in on a low speed your powdered sugar and cream. That's gonna help to reduce how much powdered sugar is blowing all over the place. Once it gets combined, then turn the speed up on your mixer and whip it really well to make it nice and light. Then my hack is to scoop the frosting into a Ziploc bag. I cut off the corner and use it just like it's a piping bag. And of course, the final step for these cupcakes is to literally put the icing on top. Oh, the frosting is so good all by itself. But of course, if you want, you can always throw on some chopped toasted hazelnuts as well. You can find this recipe and many more at homewithshay.com. Shay Ryan, ABC Action News.